Walking Wake is an absolute menace to the current OU metagame. This video is going to show you exactly why. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. I am back. I have been ill, unfortunately, um, but I'm back now. I I've still kind of got a sore throat, um, which, which I, I wasn't just off because I had a sore throat, by the way. I've still got a sore throat, um, so my voice might sound a bit different in this video, but it's, it's I'll, I'll be better soon enough. Anyway, today we're going against Mr. Taxi in the OU tier. It's actually a randomer that I found online and they were following OU rules. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's go. But if you want to battle me, go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And with that being said, let's jump into the team preview. Okay, Mr. Taxi has brought a pretty powerful looking team. He's got a Tinglu, a Mousehold, Goldengo, Hatterene, Roaring Moon, and a Garganachi. So Garganachi, we need to keep our walking wake around for that. Um, getting the sun up is going to be pretty important because they have no weather control on their team. Um, I think leading with Torkoal is probably a sound idea. They probably lead off with their Ting Lu. We can probably get some damage off on that with a nice and powerful body press. We'll get our Stealth Rocks up and stuff like that first, but we'll see what they're going to do. And the battle begins, so Mr. Taxi over there is going to lead off with Garganachi as we lead off with Old Smokey over here. So, not a bad matchup. Um, they probably go ahead and go for a uh, Stealth Rocks right now. Um, they go for a Stealth Rocks or they go into the Hatterene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into our Dragoon real quick. Um, they don't switch out, which is interesting. They don't switch out, which is interesting as we go into Dragoon. We're going to drag in real quick. Protosimus is going to boost our speed. They probably go for a Stealth Frog, right? Would they go for a Stealth Frog? They Terrastralize right off the bat. Okay. I'm not losing my Dragoon right now. I'm definitely not losing my Dragoon. So the new contender for taking this thing out is no longer walking away. Well, Draco Meteor will still hit it like a truck, but um, they go for a Salt Cure. Okay, Salt Cure is fine going to do minimal damage to us but it does do more damage to water types which is good to note um that's going to do some solid damage to us as we definitely can't stay in right now because this thing is a water type i really didn't think they would just stay in like that so let's go into our uh, magma zone real quick they probably go for a stealth rock now um they have the perfect switch into magma zone being ting lu though so i'm not really too worried about that really and um, we're going to float in the over air balloon of course they go for an iron defense uh, not really the best thing to do when there's a Magma Zone on the other side of the field, of course. We need to get rid of this thing, though. We definitely need to get rid of this thing. Um, let's go for a Flash Cannon, expecting the switch. No, you know what? Let's, do, let's, do, let's go for a Thunderbolt. Let's just go for the Thunderbolt. Because they've set up an Iron Defense now. They're probably going to stay in, right? They're probably just going to stay in like an absolute champ and take this Thunderbolt like it's nothing. They do withdraw the Garganachi, so that's fine. We get rid of that thing. We force it to switch out. They go into Tinglu, as you would expect, and they get free hazards. So... Not a bad play by my opponent's part. They're going to lower my special attack. Not that it matters because we're not hitting this thing for any damage anyway. So um, here's the thing though. We are completely immune to this thing's attack over the Ruination. So do I need to switch out right now? Um, I don't want my Great Tusk to take any Ruination damage. Then again, Great Tusk isn't doing too much for us this game. It does help against the Population Bomb Mars hold though. Um, so we have to watch out for that. Um, they are currently... They, they definitely go for a Stealth Rock right now. So let's go back into Walking Wake. I know Walking Wake's got a special attack drop from the uh, Vessel of Ruin, but um, we should be all right. We should be all right. So they definitely don't attack us with an Earthquake here, though. That's, that's for sure. So speed is going to boost, which is great. They go for a Stealth Rock, which is fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. Um, we definitely go for a Hydro Steam right now, though. We definitely go for a Hydro Steam right now. Um, I'm tempted to Terrestrialize into a Water Type. I think that's probably the best bet because we don't really need our dragon typing. All it's going to do is make us weak to Hatterene's Draining Kiss. So let's go for that Terrestrialized Boosted Hydro Steam. They do withdraw. Are they going to go into our uh, Garganachi again? Garganachi comes in. Let's see whether it's a specially defensive or a physically defensive wall. So let's go ahead and Terrestrialize real quick. Um, I figured I may as well because it's going to add the power that we need onto the Walking Wake. Um, I don't foresee myself needing Dragapult's Terra Ghost other than maybe for the Gold Engo, but it's a bit late for that. And we have Sucker Punch anyway, so that's not too big of a deal. Let's see how much damage this does. So Hydra Steam comes through. We've got a Battle of the Water Types right now. 
actually comes through. It's a clean free hit KO, which is absolutely amazing damage. Absolutely amazing damage. So leftovers are obviously a thing on this thing, um, which is absolutely fine by me. Um, we're going to go into Great Tusk, and we want to knock this thing off. That's what we want to do. We want to knock this thing off, and we want a Rapid Spin. So we'll obviously try and Rapid Spin first. No, we won't try and Rapid Spin first. I think we bait in the Goldengo, and we go for a knock, knock off. So there we go, we're going to bring in our Great Tusk, and they're probably thinking, Great Tusk, huh? We resist Salt Cure, it's not bothered about Body Press too much, um, and all that stuff. So it's probably going to go for a Rapid Spin, right? No, this is where we go for the knockoff on the Goldengo switch. I'm going to make a brilliant play here. They go for a Recover just to get the health back, makes a lot of sense to me. I have a feeling that Draco will nearly KO that thing as well. I have a feeling two Dracos will KO it, so I'm not really too bothered. Let's go for that knockoff, expecting the Goldengo to switch in right now. Also, to get rid of the leftovers on the Garganachi if he does stay in. They do withdraw the Garganachi. What are they going to go into to take a knockoff? They go into Hatterene, which is fair enough. Hatterene can get a knockoff. That's fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. Knockoff comes through. It's going to do a good knockoff of their Focus Sash, which is good to note. Um, now, we definitely switch out um, into what, though, is the real question. I think Magnazone is probably our best bet. I think Magnazone is definitely our best bet. Magnazone is our best bet for taking out the Garganachi as well. So I don't want to lose Mag Magnazone to a mystical fire right now. So I'm half tempted to go into Gastrodon because I feel like they're going to go for a Nuzzle, expecting us to switch into something more offensive. So um, Gastrodon could work. Gastrodon could work. Um, not bothered about Nuzzle. No, I think we go Magnazone. I think we go Magnazone here. Um, just to get a flash cannon off because flash cannon is going to do some chip damage to everything on the team Which would be nice. Even the Ting Lu is not going to appreciate it too much um, They go for what are they going to go for here. They go for a trick room Their team does not like a trick room team to me That's bizarre that is I don't think their team looks like a trick room team to me But what do I know? They've got Roaring Moon. They've got a Goldengo. They've got a Mouse Hold why do they need Trick Room? I don't know. They go for a Mystical Fire, though. That's going to do a lot of damage to us. It's going to lower our special attack as well. Um, we do get a Flash Cannon off, though, which is going to be great. So we know they've got Mystical Fire now. We took that like a champ. And we nearly took them out with a nice powerful attack right there. So let's go into Gastrodon real quick. Gastrodon's probably our best bet. Gastrodon is definitely our best bet. If we can get rid of the Hatterene, we can sell our own Stealth Rocks as well, which would be great. So Stealth Rocks are going to dig into our Gastrodon, unfortunately. As they go for a Mystical Fire, that's going to do minimal damage to our Gastrodon, of course. It does get the Special Attack drop, as that is a guarantee, I believe. Um, which is unfortunate, but what can you do there? So, if we expect them to go into Tinglu right now, we could go for a Yawn. I feel like they sack off the Hatterene, though, so I'm going to go straight for a Surf. They do go for a Psychic. Yeah, they're sacking off the Hatterene, which is absolutely fine by me. I'll take that. Gastrodon gets a KO, which is amazing. Gastrodon come through. Gastrodon coming through right now. So that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So Hatterene is going to go down, which is great. So now we have nothing that can safely switch into a Draco Meteor from our Walking Wake in the Sun. In comes the Garganachi. So this thing is obviously the bane of Gastrodon's existence right now. Um, we can't go into Magnezone because it's weak to the Salt Cure. Not weak to the initial attack, but weak to the residual damage that it does. So let's go into our uh, Great Tusk again. This time we're going to go for a knockoff again just to get rid of the leftovers on this thing. There we go. Ready Salted, you're going to come back to me. We'll use you later for fodder or something else if we need to. So um, Great Tusk can come in safely right now. It's only going to get hurt by a little bit of a Salt Cure, which should be absolutely fine by me. It's going to do minimal damage to us, but obviously the actual Salt Curing damage does start to rack up. So we need to make this quick. We need to make this quick. So let's go straight for that knockoff. Twisted Dimensions are going to return to normal, which is great. Let's go for that knockoff, expecting the Goldengo to come in. They don't want the Stealth Rocks gone, but they will also knock off the Garganachi's item, which is going to be great. So the leftovers are gone, which is great, um, as they go for an Iron Defense. So Iron Defense is fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. Um, we don't, we're don't. we not bothered about the iron, the iron Defense too much because we do have the Walking Wake in the back. So let's go ahead and go for a Rapid Spin right now. Rapid Spin is going to get rid of those Stealth Frogs, which are always a pain. There we go. I'm not going to get a Speed Boost, which doesn't really matter in this instance because we're not using Great Tusk to take this thing out. They go for an Orion Defense. Absolutely fine by me once again. Absolutely fine by me. Um, We do lose some health again from the Salt Cure, but it's going to be fine. 
because we've got the Gastrodon, we've got the Magnezone, we've got the Walking Wake. Do they body press here? I bet they body press, don't they? They iron defense again, don't they? They iron defense again. They definitely iron defense again. Let's go for Walking Wake. Let's go into Walking Wake real quick, and we'll drop a Draco on this thing's face. Drop a Draco on its face! Because there's no way he goes for a Salt Cure. He definitely goes for an Iron Defense again and gets up to plus six, right? Yeah, there we go. See, Iron Defense comes through. I am confident in you, Walking Wake. I am confident that not only will you hit this Draco Meteor, you will KO with this Draco Meteor. I'm putting all my energy into pressing this A button right now. Let's do it. Let's get this KO on here. Draco Meteor hits. KOs the Garganaka with a critical hit, which is absolutely amazing. What an absolute legend this Walking Wake is. Are we going to see a DC from our opponent? Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. But Walking Wake claims a soul. What an absolute powerhouse it is. I don't know whether that mattered, the crit, but I'm taking it anyway. You heard me. I put my heart and soul into pressing that A button. I deserve a critical hit for that. And also just because Garganachi is so annoying to deal with. In comes the Ting Lu. So Ting Lu obviously walls us to Oblivion and back. Um, I was kind of worried they were going to bring the Roaring Moon in and help a Dragon Dance, expecting us to switch there, but we should be fine. Um, we've got things for the Roaring Moon anyway, even if it sets up a Dragon Dance. We've got T Great Tusk over here. They can't go They're not going to be the Acrobatic set because they've already terrored. You know, stuff like that. We should be fine. Um, I'm thinking we go Torkoal here. I'm thinking we go Torkoal. And I'm looking at the team and I'm thinking Magnazone is not doing too much for us right now. So we go Torkoal, we get the sun up. Get the drought up and all that stuff. They go for a uh, still. Uh, they go for an EQ. EQ's gonna do some decent damage to us, to be fair. Um, and now we go Magnazone. Now we go Magnazone. And the reason we go Magnazone here is because we want to sack it off so we get a free switch back in with a Walking Wake, and then we can get off a nice and powerful Hydro Steam, which is gonna hurt everything on their team. Everything on their team. So we go for the Earthquake on the Magnazone. Takes us out, of course. We're making some progress though. We're making some progress towards the end of the battle, which is great. Absolutely great. So Tinglu is sat there thinking, I am all mighty, I am all powerful. We're going to go into Walking Wake real quick and prove to it why it's not. So Terra Water, Choice Specs, boosted by the sun on the Hydro Steam. Let's see how much damage we're talking here. Let's see how much damage we're talking here. This is, a, this is an experimental team to test the measures of the Walking Wake. Hydro Steam comes through. Boosted by Terra, boosted by Sun, boosted by Choice Specs. Let's see how much damage we're talking here. As it cleanly one-shots the Ting Lu. Oh my lord, that's with Vessel of Ruin on and everything. What an absolute unit this thing is. What a menace to society. I would not be surprised if we got a DC right now. Would not be surprised whatsoever if we got a DC. So Roaring Moon comes in. Roaring Moon comes in. Is it going to get a Protosynthesis boost in speed though? That's the real question. Attack was heightened. Absolutely fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. I think we have we are, we are on a roll here. We're on a roll. We're on a real roll. A real, real roll. So, we've got an option. We could Hydro Steam again to get maximum damage off, expecting them to go for a Dragon Dance here. Or we can just go to Great Tusk, which I'm going to do. going to go Great Tusk because I don't want to risk losing Walking Wake. It's such a crucial part of this team. Um, it's, it's, it's such a powerful Pokemon right now. So I think going into pro into Great Tusk, getting the defense boost on the Protosynthesis is going to be great. Um, as they go for a Crunch, that's going to do minimal damage to us. Absolutely minimal damage. We get the Rocky Helmet as well, which is great. Um, as now we go straight for a, uh, a knockoff. And um, the reason we go for a knockoff is because I'm fully expecting the great uh, the um, Goldengo to come in right now. So I'm going to go for a knockoff real quick. They actually go for an Acrobatic, which is going to do minimal damage. Um, it, well, it was doing minimal damage. Now that I'm knocking it off... It's going to do more damage. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. I didn't, I didn't knock off any item. Let's go for a body press and take this thing out. Let's take this clown out. So they go for a Dragon Dance. Okay, so they're, they're trying. They probably don't think we have body press, by the way. We went for a knockoff there. Um, I really thought they'd go Goldengo, though, to be honest with you. I thought they'd be like, oh, no, fighting time moves come in. Let's go into Goldengo real quick. As the Roaring Moon does go down, which is absolutely fantastic. Dragon Dance Roaring Moon would have actually swept through our entire team right there. In comes the Goldengo. So Goldengo is a fine one. However, I'm not too fussed about it. I'm going to sack off Gastrodon because I want to use the Rocky Helmet for later on down the line with the mouse hole just in case it gets a bit out of control. There you go. We're going to withdraw a Great Tusk. We're going to go into Gastrodon to take a hit from this thing. They probably just go for a Shadow Ball to take us out, right? 
And that'll probably take out the Gastrodon, to be honest with you. They go for a Shadow Ball. Let's see if the Specs or not. If the Specs will clean, cleanly one-shot us. They are definitely not Specs. And um, we don't know what item they are. But um, it should be fine. It should be fine. I think they hard switch into Mouse Hold right now, though. Um, either way, I'm letting the Gastron go down. So I'm going to go for the Earth Power. They do go for another Shadow Ball, which is absolutely fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. Nearly takes us out this time as we go for an Earth Power, which is going to do a lot of damage to the Gold Endgame. So that's great. It's harsh on Light does fade, which is unfortunate, but what can you do? Absolutely fine by me, though. Do you know why? I just had a great idea. I just had a great idea. Let's sack off Torkoal. Let's get the sun back up and sack off Torkoal. Let's go with a walking wake sweep. Let's go with a walking wake sweep. So we don't need to sack off Gastron. There's no point. We just get Torkoal in. Get the sun up. One last time. Let it go down to a Shadow Ball right now. As it should go down to the Shadow Ball. It does go down to the Shadow Ball, which is great. We go into our nice and powerful walking wake. And we just spam Hydro Steam. That's pretty much all we need to do. Spam Hydro Steam. So let's go into Dragoon real quick. There we go. Nice and powerful. Get that Pro Synthesis boost to speed. Awesome. Awesome. Let's go for that Hydro Steam real quick. And we will take this thing out. No problemo. Let's go. Hydro Steam comes through. Going to cleanly take out the Goldengo, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Goldengo goes down. Goldengo goes down. In comes Mousehold. So Mousehold, unless it's Choice Scarf Mousehold for some reason, we should be golden here. Let's go for that Hydro Steam real quick. Hydro Steam comes through. Unless the Focus Sash, we should be golden. Hydro Steam comes through. Destroys the Mousehold like it's nothing. Like it's a bit of paper. Like it's a bit of paper. Amazing. Walking Wake is an absolute monster. We defeated Mr. Taxi. I'm going to call him Mr. Taxi. Do not Google his username. Whatever you do. Do not Google his username. Um, that's amazing. That was brilliant. That was a brilliant game. That Walking Wake put in the absolute work that game. You know what? My my verdict on whenever it should be banned or not is... I, I don't want it to be banned, but I think it will. Because it does seem very over-centralizing. Like, the minute you get the sun up, it's just it's such an overbearing Pokemon. Very powerful Pokemon. Um, puts in the absolute work. And as much as I love it, and I don't want it to be banned, I have a feeling it will be banned. Whether I would vote that or not, if I got the Rex, um, I don't know. I'd have, to, I'd have to play a lot more with it to get a good grasp. But from my initial impressions of it are that it is very powerful. Very powerful. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.